Hello and welcome to Somewhere in Waldo County. I'm with Dave Halbert, who's uh, one of the pickleballers here in Belfast City Park. And as you can see behind me, the pickleball courts are looking pretty nice. Dave, uh, this is not something that's been like this forever. I remember coming by and there was just nothing but black hot top and people playing out. Yeah, it's an old ba basketball court and it wasn't used very much because the other basketball court is so nice. So. Uh, a group of people who'd been playing a little bit at the Y uh, asked the city if they couldn't put some lines down for pickleball and uh, they let them and it became very popular that summer but uh, it was still a pretty uh, primitive court and so we started uh, earnestly uh, lobbying the council about uh, getting it uh, fixed up like the tennis court and uh, basketball court nearby into some uh, professional pickleball courts. In fact we uh, could put uh, three courts on a basketball a court, but we were so crowded we asked for four courts and that's what we got. So <laughs> just this summer, about two weeks ago, they came down and professionally uh, surfaced the court and uh, we've been playing on it since. It's been great. So um, as a fellow who sits behind the panels at City Council televising the meetings, I couldn't help but notice that every time the subject of pickleball came up, the city council chambers were filled with people. That led me to believe that there's quite a pickleball movement in the area. Am I correct? Yeah, it's become uh, very popular. There were uh, three or four uh, people who had seen it. Uh, uh, one woman who's playing here today uh, uh, used to play in Portland out on the street and uh, started the game uh, quite a few years ago in Maine. And, and uh, uh, here in uh, Belfast, it's quickly grown to a good uh, 50 or so people who were in the initial uh, um, uh, uh, movement to get the pickleball courts going and uh, contributed to uh, about uh, $13,000 to uh, match city funding at the time to get the project going. Yeah, I, I think this is a really interesting um, model, I guess you would say, of how things happen sometimes because certainly the city government is supportive of recreation in Belfast, but when one is asked, I mean, it was quite an ask just to say, could we take over the old basketball court? I remember there being a saying, well, where will the people who use that basketball, can we build another basketball court? It was a big argument about, you know, should we even make this available? And so then the whole idea of how to fund it well, that's where I think your organization, and I don't know if it's an actual organization or just did you actually become an organization to raise the money or what? how did you come up with the, say, well, we'll come up with this amount of money to try to make this happen? Well, we didn't, uh, we didn't take the step of becoming an actual uh, uh, 501c3 or something like that. So we're really just a club, just a group of interested uh, people. But it was a sell because uh, still today you tell people you play pickleball and they want to know, well, what's that? So unlike tennis and basketball, which are pretty well re established, uh, we had to convince the city council that there were enough people who wanted to play the sport and were uh, willing to uh, uh, come forward even with some donations to see that it would happen. If you go out west or if you go down to Florida or many other places around the country now, uh, there, there are people... Uh, uh, and, or, and, uh, and, and companies actively replacing a lot of tennis courts and building new pickleball courts uh, uh, and it's a very popular sport out there. We've done a lot of uh, pickleball tourism. We've gone as far as uh, Hawaii and, and uh, places uh, all over the country and to play pickleball and uh, it's, it's becoming pretty popular. Well, I can see that you would go to Hawaii not exclusively to play pickleball, but if you're in Hawaii, it seems to me like this is a very social activity. You know, the fact that the courts are much smaller and people are closer together, it seems like there's a lot of conversations and things going on. I imagine that that's an important part of why people play pickleball, besides the fact that it looks like it's pretty good exercise, but like won't drag you down like if you have to run the whole length of a tennis court. Yeah. Well, it, well, it is, and, and people of all ages can play. It's very inexpensive, and if you did want to do some pickleball tourism, you just uh, put your paddle in the suitcase and uh, you're on your way. In uh, Hawaii, there were a lot of uh, Hawaiians there who were uh, real trash talkers and uh, wisecrackers. We had a great time with them. And generally, wherever you go, you just show up with a paddle and you're just in included with the mix. So it's very social. You're standing 14 uh, feet away from each other, smacking a pickleball back and forth. So you get a chance to, to talk with people pretty quickly. So um, for people who are unfamiliar with pickleball, and, you know, it is a... Uh, 
in my mind, relatively new. I mean, when I was a kid, no one played pickleball. When I was a young adult, no one played pickleball. It's only been, I think, in my mind, in the past mm, eight years or so that I have even knew about pickleball. How recent a sport is it? Well, it was started, uh, the story is that about 35 years ago out in Washington State, there was a group of people who had uh, summer camps, and uh, the kids were kind of bored, and someone started to... Uh, make uh, pickleball paddles with a sheet of plywood and they used a wiffle ball uh, that people had been using for baseball and it just became so popular that the kids and the adults and, and everybody else started playing and it's slowly grown over the years, uh, made its way across the country uh, in pockets and uh, in the past eight, eight to ten years there's a huge organization of people and um, pickleball paddles that have gone from being plywood to uh, you know a complex uh, polymer uh, of course. Course. Uh, paddles that you what know, about the over. balls? The balls are going to have to be, oh, yeah. you know, you can, sophisticated you too. You get two people, <laughs> they can talk all day long about what kind of the a ball is the best ball to use for a right. given... Uh, How many dimples it has yeah, to have for... Yeah, yeah. Indoor, <laughs> outdoor. In my life, I've seen various forms of paddle sports being launched. There's something about pickleball, and I suspect the fact that it's so accessible for me um, and I'll tell you that I learned about it and then they offered a free class through the adult education here in Belfast. I took it and you know I used to have some pretty serious uh, ping pong games with my son and I've done a little bit of tennis so I've been horrible but between the two of them it really helped jump start my pickleball playing. Uh, yeah it's, it's not a sport uh, that is real taxing on the shoulders um, and you don't have to move around uh, 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 very quickly a lot or run long distances for so you can uh, be a pretty good pickleball player and uh, stand in one place and occasionally have to shuffle back and forth or run back two or three steps so uh, people can play uh, up into their advanced ages uh, children can uh, get in and play against uh, seniors it's inexpensive uh, uh, people can get into it fairly easy or try it out without uh, forking out a lot of uh, money like uh, some mm -hmm. other major sports. Well, when I was taking it through adult ed, there were enough of these... Um, yeah, proselytizers or... Yes, yeah. people like that. And they were giving out paddles for us to use so we didn't even have to come up with money initially. But then, uh, but like how much does it cost to get into pickleball if you wanted to actually, you know, go out and buy stuff? I imagine you could just wear regular clothes, you know, regular short, good loose you don't have to wear specialized gear like helmets or yeah, knee pads just, or anything you just have your uh, usual old tennis shoes the uh, court shoes are 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 are, are what's recommended uh -huh. uh, uh, the paddles are so inexpensive that they're generally uh, loaned out for free most places we'll be able to loan out uh, paddles for free at the uh, pool area here this summer oh i was wondering see i'm going to ask some specific stuff here because after all, this is Belfast Community Television. We're here at Belfast City Park, right uh, down below. Well, you can't miss it. Uh, can't miss uh, the uh, playing area. It's uh, and I guess I'm filming this on a Sunday morning, and it's quite busy. But it's more than just Sunday morning. When do people play like pickleball? And is there uh, some sort of a sign-up process? How does it work? Generally, it's just a show up and play. Most mornings uh, between uh, 8.30 and 9, 8.30 on hot days. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, any time you come down to play, you can generally get in a game. If you're a better player, then uh, Saturday mornings are generally for the better players. Uh, and uh, if it's raining, there are places in the nearby area where you can uh, get a game in. Mm -hmm. but, uh, so you don't have to come with a friend. You can just come by yourself and say, I'd like to join something? Yeah, and, m and many of the people that you see behind us are here on, on, uh, by themselves, and they just join in knowing there's a good, friendly group, and they can always get in a game. I see. And is there any cost to do this in Belfast? No, uh, last year while we were raising money, uh, we were asking for a $2 donation, but uh, now that we have the... Uh, the courts and the nets and uh, and uh, 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 supply of pickleballs and just come down and uh, you can play. So um, talk about this event on July 21st because I understand it's going to be like the official ribbon cutting and things like that. Yeah, we're so grateful for the for the city and for our, uh, all of the people who uh, donated uh, money that we wanted to have a grand opening celebration, kind of tell the whole city of Belfast about what's down here and urge people to come play so we're having what's called a scramble which means you just come down and sign up and uh, you'll be assigned uh, partners and get a chance to uh, play games and uh, compete and uh, find out who's 
who's a good player and who's, uh, who's got some work to do. And uh, we'll have some, uh, some free refreshments and uh, should have a great time. We'll have some of the uh, uh, council members uh, hopefully here to uh, cut the ribbon and uh, we'll give some little speeches that shouldn't last more than half hour and we'll get right into playing. Is Belfast like a hotbed of it? Is, the, is there enough of a formal pickleball organization in Belfast that you would send like, a, do you have like a Belfast team that would go up to Bucksport and play or is it all pretty much individual at this point? Well, over the past couple of years, as we've been uh, finding members who wanted to be in uh, tournaments and such, we were one of the early places to have tournaments. And uh, now uh, many of the uh, 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 tennis clubs in, uh, in uh, Bangor and Hamden and uh, uh, Waterville and uh, uh, down in the Rockland area, they've, uh, they've really caught on, I think, from a, a lot of the help that we've given them. And uh, uh, they now are, are pretty big organizations. Uh, we're still a good, strong little club down here. Uh, but, uh, uh, and, but we, and we have people going to all those places to compete. In fact, we've got quite a few people going down to Portland for the Atlantic Regionals, and we'll uh, come back probably with some good scores. Huh. So is this all pre pretty much um, amateur? Or, are, I mean, here there is, I'm sure. But, like, uh, the way it's catching up, and I imagine if you're the... Um, U.S. Tennis Association, you must not be liking pickleball because you said they're, they're converting tennis courts to pickleball, but is there, uh, uh, is there a professional pickleball uh, league that, you know, some time may, I guess I don't watch enough of the obscure sports on ESPN, but, you know, that's what I'm wondering. Well, we're, I don't think we're in the Olympics just yet, but the United States uh, Association of Pickleball uh, clubs is... Uh, 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 a nationwide club and there is an international as well. And is it original. catching up because you said it was started in you know on the west coast and it's you know took, taken a while and gotten here to the east coast. Uh, is it uh, played in other parts of the world now? Oh yes, uh, they've had uh, co uh, national international competitions in uh, Portugal and uh, recently in uh, in Japan and uh, uh, it's uh, it's played just about anywhere you go uh, across the across the country. Uh, uh, there are uh, uh, s several uh, places in uh, in many of the cities across the country. As uh, uh, several ambassadors, and uh, you can play just about any place you go nowadays to vacation. That sounds great. So um, I know that you probably aren't taking like ac super accurate statistics, but. If you were to guess, how many different like people in a week would be playing pickleball down here? Uh, generally, we'll have uh, three courts going, and on a good day, four courts with people stacking their paddles, waiting in line. So, uh, uh, particularly uh, as summer gets on, and we ha particularly after July 4th, when more and more uh, summer visitors are here, it gets pretty crowded, and uh, and uh, it'll be uh, you'll get a buy usually uh, between games where you can uh, sit out and rest and watch other people play. So. You didn't answer the question of how many people. Oh uh, well, would you say the, like 50 people a, 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 a day? Probably 25, 30 people. Okay, uh, there's uh, four courts out here, and each one will accommodate four players, so you can have uh, have uh, that many people playing at once. Uh, and how long do I does one like if I were to come down here? Um, I imagine at a certain point I want to say, when is it not too crowded? Because it sounds like you, you use the term, you stack your paddles. So that's what, how you kind of reserve your place in line. You have your paddle waiting, and right. then when it gets down... Come on down, down, put your paddle in, and okay. when your turn comes up, you'll be invited on to play. So we, uh, there won't be uh, groups of people who are, uh, who are uh, 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 monopolizing the courts. Uh, other times a day uh, is really for uh, friends to get together, and so uh, there are people who want to play in the afternoon. We've got lights that people can play in the evening, but generally those those games are arranged with uh, uh, people that you know. Oh, I see. So you come down with, what, three other people typically? Right, right. So you're saying that if I wanted to, like, challenge my son and, uh, uh, and, and, and bring a couple other friends, the time to do that would be, you know, in the afternoon sometime. Yeah, generally afternoon, mm -hmm. and if it's hot in the afternoon, then uh, in the early evening is a great time to come down and play after dinner, in fact. Uh, I mean, the, to be down here in the park in this beautiful setting, there's uh, the ocean out here and uh, the trees all around. I've visited many uh, places all over the country to play pickleball, and this is, this is clearly my favorite place to be because it's just so beautiful down here. 
You know, and I was going to say that we're in the height of black fly season, but they don't seem to be bad, too bad right here. I think maybe that has to do with we're so close to the water. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Or you say you're kind of a club. How do you know what's going on in the world of pickleball in Belfast? Well, we, we have been uh, quite advanced in that respect. We have a, a, a website, uh, www.belfastpickleball.com, that anybody can visit. Uh, there's also a, a Facebook page, and on each of them is a little story about our club and also the schedule, when to come down and play, and, and a lot of other important information. I certainly would urge people to visit that website uh, uh, first and learn a little bit before coming down. They'll, they'll enjoy it more. Uh, we also have uh, a brochure that we've uh, uh, published and have put, to, put out to the Chamber of Commerce and a number of other places around that not only tells about Belfast, but all the other uh, areas in the surrounding 50 miles that a person could uh, play pickleball. So for you personally, uh, it sounds to me like you like it for its exercise and its social things. Is that basically uh, what, what, what you like about pickleball? Yeah, uh, we were uh, struggling to find some kind of uh, exercise that we could do that we actually enjoyed. Uh, and uh, we discovered pickleball, and we've really become uh, addicted to the sport. And uh, uh, we go around and uh, proselytize and uh, talk to uh, surrounding communities, uh, such as uh, Liberty and other places like that, and urge them to get started. And we, we were instrumental in getting the adult ed classes uh, going here oh, in town. Oh, well, thank you so yeah. much, because I took advantage of that. Yeah. <laughs> so um, if one comes down here to play, how long is the typical, you know, match? Or what, what does one do? Does one play, like, three games? Or how, how does it work when you're down there and you put your p paddle in and you want to play? Is it, can you play, once you're on the court, do you figure you'll be there for, what, an hour, for 20 minutes? How long is it, how long do you typically play is my well, question. Well, the typical, the typical games are up to 11. So uh, those, the, your game may only last about 15 minutes. Okay. And then uh, if you've uh, won the game, typically the side that win, the, those two players will split and take another side of the court. Okay. Two new players come on and uh, you go that way. If you lose, your paddle is back over in the pile again. Oh. But you can uh, you can get in uh, over an hour and a half, two hours, a good uh, several uh, several games in, and uh, you can work up a sweat and have a good time and meet some new people. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dave Halbert. Uh, I wanted to uh, once again let people know about the big event happening July 21st. What time is it, and uh, and who should come? Well, uh, registration is at 8:30, and uh, 9 o'clock is when the festivities should start. And as I say, we'll keep the we'll keep the speeches short and uh, get right into get right into playing. All right. Well, thank you so much. I think it's really wonderful to see so many people enjoying themselves together in this wonderful resource that we have, which is Belfast City Park and the sub-resource, which is these wonderful, beautiful pickleball courts. Yeah, thank you. And once again, thanks to the, uh, the uh, City Council for, uh, and the City of Belfast for helping make this all possible.